everyone welcome back again to my channel and for today's video i am going to be doing one of the most requested makeup tutorial in my instagram and on my youtube channel also this is as the title itself say a one brand makeup tutorial using only nyx products now a little disclaimer it is not gonna be all nyx products with the brushes because I'm not really a fan of brushes that have black bristles like this. This one is from NYX and I'm pretty sure all of their brushes are like this. I'm just not a big fan of that but it does the job. I mean it's a good brush. It's just not my thing and if you're wondering why on earth are you looking like Chun-Li? I'm just feeling like it. You know, I woke up at 5 did my all shebang, ate my breakfast, did the dishes and everything else while Olivia is sleeping and I feel like I'm a free bird at the moment. So I'm not gonna try to destroy that. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. It's just eight o'clock, girl. It's eight o'clock and I'm sitting down here feel so alive so we're gonna start with our eyes of course um, I'm gonna prime my eyes using this one right here this is the HD studio photogenic concealer in the shade 4.5 I do like this concealer since it does the job it covers the veins on my eyelids and my under eye problem as well for those of you who are looking for a full shebang coverage concealer it is not that type of concealer i'm just throwing that off the bat right there now for the eyes i'm going to be using this perfect filter eyeshadow palette from nyx this is really pretty i mean as you can see it's nothing but warms and reds and roses and peaches and amazingness this is pretty expensive. It is $19.99. This is the first time I'm going to be using this, but I've heard good reviews about it. That's why I got this. I'm going to take this guy right here to set my concealer and I'm just going to pack that in. For a first impression, it's not powdery. With that same brush, I'm going to be using this little guy right here and I'm going to apply that as my transition color. I wish this thing has a mirror. That would be really awesome if it does. It's actually pretty pigmented. I like this. Next is this little gown right here. And I'm gonna use the Japanese brush 836. A while ago, I was using a fluffy brush from Morphe. This is the E27. That is a classic blending brush, the E27. That is something everybody has and you should have too. So next is I'm gonna concentrate this to my crease. But I'm going to start first on my outer V-line and then making my way through my crease. By the way, on the next few days, you're going to be seeing a lot of vlogs. You're going to be seeing probably three videos in a week or four. Just saying. Back to the whole point of this video. As you can see, the first dip that I do after tapping it is I concentrate it in here. And I do a circular motion like that. But little circles only. Don't go like this, okay? And then after that, when there's not much product on the brush, the harsh part is gone because you've blended it here. You want to drag it like this to your crease on a windshield wiper motion like that. So you can control the amount of dark color you're going to apply on your crease. And that way you can blend it well. Next is I'm going to get this one right here using a much slimmer crease brush. And then I'm just going to intensify the crease. Okay, and then back to my fluffy E27 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that. So next is I'm gonna get this little guy right here. This is the NYX Pigment Primer. And then I'm gonna pair it out with this NYX Pigments in the shade Old Hollywood number 13. Okay, I'm gonna use this tiny brush right here. 
And I'm going to get a little bit of that pigment. And then pack it there. Ooh, girl, do you see that? Go back to this little guy right here and just blend that even more. When you try to use their pigments, it's very important that you use their primer because the pigments does not stay on your lids if you don't use that primer. Now we're gonna apply a little bit of a wing. Now for those wing liner beginners and are having a hard time to apply wing, what I suggest is get a makeup wipe and try to create that winged look already on your eyeshadow. So that that will be your guide. I'm gonna use this little guy right here. This is their NYX. Um, that's the point. Hella fine liquid eyeliner. For the lashes, I am not gonna use any NYX lashes. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is from Allure. 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 Yeah, Allure. Cosmetic London Wispy number one one seven. Next is I'm gonna apply some mascara and this is the Word to Hype. This is actually a really nice mascara. Like I love the brush. And I was really like no thanks with this one when they launched it because it was like YouTubers everywhere and it was overhyped, you know? But girl, the bristles are perfect. We're gonna prime using this NYX Total Control Drop Primer. Next is this little guy right here. This is the Total Control Drop Foundation. This is in the shade Beige. Next is for concealer. I'm gonna use this little guy right here again. By the way, the concealer shade that I'm using is 4.5. Next is I'm gonna get this little guy right here and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques. And then to give a little bit of a warmth to my face, I'm gonna use, of course, my next No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Golden. This is actually really perfect for Filipina skins because it's a really, really nice golden color. Next is back again to this one right here. We're going to contour our face. Where's my contour brush if I can find it? Next is we're going to do my brows and I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencils in the shade Espresso. Next is we're gonna set our face using this one right here. I still have a tag. <laughs> Take two. Next is we're gonna set our face using this matte finish long lasting setting spray. This smells like beer. Reminds me so much of our neighbor back in the Philippines who drinks a lot. Okay, when she's a little dry, we're gonna highlight our face using this little guy right here. Ooh. For blush, I'm gonna use this Strictly Chic Ombre Blush, of course, from NYX. I love this. It's so peachy. It's so springtime. It's so summer. This is so pigmented and it's just so cute. For our under eye, we're gonna use this little guy right here first and next is this little guy right here. I'm sorry if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background. I have no idea what's happening actually outside my house right now. I feel like somebody's cutting a tree because my house is shaking, like literally. Next is I'm gonna apply some mascara, of course. Next is we're gonna highlight using this one right here. This is a shimmered one. Ooh, oh gosh, that's pigmented. Oh my gosh. 
that looks awesome next for lips is i'm gonna use this deep red lip liner last but not the least is we're gonna set it again <laughs> you guys that completes this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did these products that i've used all in my face are so recommendable especially the palette i know i said it at first that i don't recommend it because of the price but girl it's so pigmented it's not powdery it's not messy to use it's it's bomb so i feel like the price itself is worth it and you get 10 amazing pigmented eyeshadow colors and that mascara girl this one it is definitely worth the hype it's so bomb the brush itself it's like heaven when you start brushing your lashes there it's it's not clumpy it gets just the perfect amount of product on your lashes and it's it's cute anyways so thank you guys again so much for watching everything is gonna be linked down below and i hope for those of you who have requested this tutorial this one brand next tutorial will be satisfied with the products that i've used again i will be doing a nyx on the budget um, video as well and those are my techniques on how to hack um, kind of like a va va voom look but using a little bit of nyx products only anyway thank you guys again so much for watching if you don't follow me on my social media accounts that is all leanne jarrell and i've created a facebook page that is leanne jarrell xoxo follow me there give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what you think and i will see you guys on my next video bye